uh, cheerleader moms that are out there. They're going to write letters every every single day about every single thing that they don't like about school. It's the start of this video. Was that harsh? I don't think so. Yeah, well, there's like probably a hundred. Yeah, new ones. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. So yeah. how do we approach that? Well, I want to just give some really simple principles for approaching this topic. Three simple principles mm -hmm. that I think will guide us in this in this okay. topic. Okay. The first principle is to love your neighbor. That is the first okay. principle for everybody. Can I just go ahead and say I don't know how that dinged like there was, you know, right on time, but can I affirm since we're affirming things on the show today? I want to affirm that the first principle is loving your neighbor. Very simple principle. But be careful when you're dealing with someone who is, you know, demanding this. Don't just treat the person as if they are a political debate. Now, I think that one of the things he said there is important. And I do want to bring this up on this this show. Um, the the race stuff was that was a joke, but kind of not. There's some cultural things that you know may may factor in, but they're like a hundred on the list of like ninety nine other things would come before that. I think that the setting in which you have these conversations conversations with people especially when it's contentious conversation matters uh, i think that if you're having a conversation with a group of people who all identify as trans and, and are upholding this position that's why i didn't show the ben shapiro video because he's savage like when you go into a situation like that you already know they're out for blood and by the time uh ben shapiro who was just asking questions about biology got done with the gentleman that was, that, uh, that was sitting next to him uh dressed up like a, a woman he wanted to go out and fight and uh, I'm not trying to spark that kind of conversation, but I do think that in a one-on-one -on -one situation, you can be a lot more bold <clears throat> in this particular setting where I have my own show and I say whatever the heck that I want to say, I can be a lot more bold. But there would be times in which I would not change the answer, but the tone of the conversation. I'm not going to be sitting down at a dinner table yelling at the top of my lungs and hitting sound effects like that context is a lot different than when you're sitting down with one-on-one -on -one with somebody. And so let's be careful when we talk about loving our neighbor that we don't apply the situation in the setting uh, in such a way that, you, you know, the same way that you would sit down and have a very calm and you know quiet, collected conversation with your neighbor sitting across from you. Um, you know, we, we don't apply that situational uh, or contextual ethic to every single person that's across.